What's up guys, bringing you a kind of first impression review for the Far End Dragon at 5 stars. This is pre the last buff, uh, but we'll get into it in just a few seconds. Alright guys, here we are, we got, uh, see my load out there, rocking the assault pants, light urban vest, foxtrot helmet. Uh, still had the 5 star chrome KG-18 as the secondary back in the day here. Um, major throwback alert. Um, but we got our 5 star Dragon Edition, Far N. And probably the best, probably still the best uh, Far N Edition. Um, you know, it's got the 25% boost in range. Um, you know, the, the veteran has more portability, which could potentially be, you know, really nice. Um, and the chrome just has more damage, um, so, uh, you know, probably Dragon's probably still the best Far End Edition, um, you know, I only have enough for a 5 star, um, unless they bring it back in the future, you know, I won't be able to go any higher than a 5 star, um, you know, I'll eventually max it out, but since I can't go any higher, it's, you know, pretty low on my priority list, I like to, uh, you know, max out weapons that I, uh, can upgrade, you know, and, and keep moving and, you know, clear up space in my inventory if I have, like, you know, five five-star KG-18s, I might, you know, want to make the seven-star just to clear up that space, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, just the way I like to do things, keep things clean and organized, but um, not to mention, you know, I said it before in one of my recent videos about, you know, maximizing your gun XP when you're playing. Um, you know, if you're playing with a maxed out weapon, you're not earning any gun XP while you play with it, right? So, you know, since I can't evolve this weapon, you know, there's no point in maxing it out because every time I play with it, then I'm just going to be wasting the gun XP, right? So, you know, I'll just level it up over time. Um, like, uh, I got my six star regular edition Far End. Which, if you follow me on Instagram at Gaming Willis, you might have seen me just post it. Um, but uh, you know, I maxed that out all 35 levels. You know, except for like, you know, maybe five weapons that I threw into it here and there, um, just to get it higher on the when you sort by like recent weapons. You know, you gotta like upgrade a weapon at least with the way it's currently set up. You know, you have to like upgrade a weapon to get it higher on the recent. Thing, which is just insanely annoying and stupid, but, um, you know, other than those weapons, you know, I, I completely maxed out all 35 levels just by playing with that thing, so, um, you know, I'll probably, for the most part, max out this 5-star just by playing with it, um, you know, that'll be a long time down the road, but that's my long-term plan, um, you see, we did, you know, decent enough in training here. Um, you know, obviously fire rate is, is nothing special, but this weapon does deal a high amount of damage, so, you know, when your shots connect, it only takes, you know, a good two or three hits to, to really take someone down. Um, you know, it's really not a bad weapon. Um, it just, it can be frustrating at times. Um, you know, with the slow fire rate and high damage, um, it's actually kind of similar to the AGK-37. Um... You know, you're you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, and sometimes your shots just don't connect. And it's like, you know, no matter how accurate you, you know, you could be as accurate as, you know, as even possible. And your shots just don't connect sometimes. And that's, you know, if every shot did connect, um, you know, this would be the most powerful gun in the game, hands down. Um, so they kind of have it built into, you know, their shooting algorithm, you know, that... You know, some shots just have to miss just for, you know, the sake of balance. And, uh, you know, that, that makes it an interesting weapon to play with. I'm just showing you my loadout real quick. Um, there's a good old 5-star. We've since made the 6-star, obviously. If you're subscribed to this channel, you've seen those videos already. Um, and there's the uh, Fire End Dragon at 5-stars. Pretty cool looking. Um, this is before the last latest update, so uh, you know the graphics have been touched up in the latest update. You know that if you play. Um, so that weapon would look, you know, it just looks a little bit crisper now. It's not really. I don't know how to explain it. You know, it's just kind of the the metals got more metallic and the plastics got more plastic, and 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it, but you know what I'm talking about if you play the game. And, uh, you know, only change, I believe, is that the portability has gone up 20 points. So this is still a pretty fair review. Um, you know, this is, I mentioned, you know, once again, if you follow me on social media and whatnot, um, you know, I mentioned I've had some trouble uploading videos. This is one of those videos. Um, so this is actually the second time doing the commentary for this video, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, whatever. We're not going to cry about it. Um, you know, I've had this gameplay record recorded a long time. You know, I also had the, the video, you know, with commentary and edited and everything recorded a long time. And then uh, there's a great far end example right there. You know, side note real quick. <laughs> That's absolutely, you know, goals, goals AF with the far end. Get shots like that. Um, but uh, I had this video for a while and, you know, had it uploaded, you know, sometime last week and you know apparently my audio track was missing and you know it was just a mess so you know redoing it now getting it out there um, you know slowly but surely getting more videos out there um, we'll have some uh, I don't know I might put out like a first impression kind of thoughts on the, the new Patriot gear going out um, that might be out on my channel already by the time you're watching this just depends how my uploads work out um, if not it'll be coming soon but be sure to check that out either way and uh, you know as we get into that I think they start July 1st so we're not you know we don't have to wait too long which is good um, should have some video of those out there right away I got it you know over a thousand gold stockpiled um, you know I will have you know probably like 1100 or so when those weapons first come out, you know, if they do a combine event, I got tons of weapons ready for the combine event. I think I said that before in one of my recent videos. Um, so, you know, hopefully I can, you know, build some of those. You know, I'm not, I don't know, I kind of gave a few thoughts in the first impression video. I, I recorded it, just not sure when I'll upload it. Um, but basically, you know, I'm not too sure how I feel about those just yet. You know, kind of, I'll reserve any judgment for now. Um, but just throwing it out there, I got some stuff stockpiled up, ready to go, so, you know, maybe we'll be, uh, one of the first ones to get a, you know, a nice video review, maybe like a six-star maxed review out there of, of one of the weapons, um, you know, probably still won't make a seven-star for a long time, but we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, we got our match at the far end. Got a notorious swag money in the match. Great player, AE Nation, AE Nation player. Um, he's got a six-star AA500, Autumn A500. If you don't know what AA500 or SA500 stand for, it's Autumn, um, Autumn A500, Shamrock A500. You know, veteran A500. I guess that would be VA500. Um, you know, when I first started this game, when I when I first joined the forums, I actually joined the forums way after I started the game, like probably like three months after I started the game. Um, I was like, hey, you know, maybe I should check out the forums. Um, you know, I saw all these people posting like AA500 and I was like, you know, what is this gun? Like, you know, people have this gun I've never heard of. Um, like thinking it was completely different from the A500, not realizing that the extra A out front just stood for Autumn. So. Just throwing that out there, you know, maybe the new players don't know that yet. You know, I wouldn't expect you to. I didn't know for the longest time, and to be quite frank, I was afraid to ask. But, <laughs> um, yeah, AA500, Autumn A500. So maybe that'll help someone out there. I'm sure most of you know that already, though, but let's see how we did in this match. We got the L. We'll take the L. 4, 6, and 1. Pretty terrible, but... You know, that's the reality of using a far end against, you know, a, a great player with a, you know, one of the best weapons out there. Um, only minus two combat points. You know, it's not the end of the world by any means. Um, and like you saw there, I mean, this weapon's at, like, level four or whatever, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, see, we're maxing out an AG-10 four-star. Um... This is probably from a while back then, actually, because that 
that's probably the AG10 4 star that I used in my video review. I did a video review of the 4 star maxed out AG10 that was also pre buff or pre nerf. Um, buff being an increase in stats, nerf being a decrease in stats, I guess. So pre nerf with the AG10. Um, you know, major portability changes on that weapon, but. Um, Anyway, let's see how we're doing. First ranked match, uh, 0.81 KD, whatever that said. You know, pretty standard. That's pretty much the level I play at. <laughs> um, let's see, we got Raised Fort. We'll count down here. You know, I've seen a couple people build out their far end dragons recently. I know at least a handful of people with the six star. Um, you know, handful of people that say that they can make the seven star, but haven't done it yet. Um, you know, I've seen the stats, pictures of a seven star. Um, you know, I don't really spend too much time, you know, harping on stats, um, which might sound ironic because I spend all this time on the wiki, but um, I don't know, I'm more so like looking at the pictures more than the stats, to be honest. Um, you know, 7 star looks cool, it's, you know, just another skinned weapon, you know. Um, I don't know, I mean, any of the non-skinned weapons at 7 stars, they, they all have some type of camo pattern, which I love. Um, I'm a huge fan of that, and then, you know, you got your skinned weapons, and, you know, they're, they're more toyish. Um, you know, like Fire and Dragon, it's, you know, like a purple gold weapon covered in, you know, Chinese dragons, and, you know, I mean, it's cool looking, but it's it's not really my style, I don't know, I mean, I, a lot of people in the game like, you know, the skinned weapons, and, you know, I don't know, it's kind of gets into my uh, thoughts on the new skinned weapons, but, you know, I'll try to avoid that for now, I'd like to wait a little while before I you know, publicly put some harsh thoughts out there, but, <laughs> um, you know, it's just, it's not my style, I don't know, I mean, obviously the game isn't made for me, the game is made for, you know, hundreds and thousands of people across the entire world, um, you know, a lot of people like, you know, that, you know, fantasy type of skin thing going on, um, you know, I'd rather, you know, I'd just rather take a standard weapon, you know, with no skin on it, with no camo on it, you know, nothing. Um, there's a great fire end kill. That was awesome. Um, you know, I'd rather take a, a naked weapon compared to, you know, one of these dialed up skinned weapons. Um, there was a uh, interesting use of the stun grenades, if you caught that. You know, threw it against the wall since I got my assault pants on, it wouldn't affect me. You know, I, I saw that guy running up chasing me. If he would have actually, you know, chased me a bit more aggressively, he would have ran into that stun. And I could have turned around and, and took him out. But, you know, he chose to, to pause for a second and didn't quite hit that stun. But, you know, I like that little maneuver. I've, I've used it quite a bit, actually. Um, there's a guy right below in that trench there. I totally missed him. <laughs> it's so painful watching these videos back, you know. I'm, this is on the iPhone 5S. Um, nowadays I play on the iPhone SE, you already know that, but, you know, same screen size, but, you know, on that screen size, um, you know, my thumb, you know, where that guy was, just was, um, in that, the trench, as we ran by him, you know, my thumb would be covering that exact spot, so, you know, it's so painful watching these back, you know, don't judge me too harshly, you know, you gotta realize my thumbs are, you know, taking up half the screen at least, you know, it's a, you know, iPhone 5S if you don't have one, you know, Google a picture of it, you know, Google a picture of someone holding it in their hands, you know, it's a small device, um, you know, so there's a, a lot of space taken up by, you know, covering it with my thumbs and whatnot, but that guy's using a four-star MK veteran, that's interesting. I don't think I've really ever seen one of those. I've seen a few RS300s, but no, not the MK, really, you know, almost ever. Let's see if that guy's still there. Grab a quick yawn. Getting a little tired out here. Struggle is very real. You know, that 
that kind of irks me, you know, taking as much damage as I did there. It's like, uh, just one of the, uh, I don't know, that's just kind of how After Pulse is, you know, certain, certain advantages by, you know, leaning up against the wall a certain way, um, you know, based on being a third person shooter, um, you know, and the, the gun, you know, always being to the right side where you shoot to your right side. You know, there's certain ways to play that to your advantage, and, you know, where I took that much damage, and, like, I couldn't even see the guy. Like, I saw his elbow, and somehow he was fully shooting me. You know, that's, that's kind of frustrating, but that's just how the game goes. It's been there since day one, you know. I'm not complaining about that. Just, you know, gets frustrating every now and then. Um, but anyway, let's uh, jump out here. Yeah, this is back when I was level 37. This is major throwback. Major throwback alert. We'll, uh, I got about three minutes left in our video. Um, we'll jump into a custom match. Haven't really done that many custom matches in my latest reviews. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below if you think I should keep including the custom matches. Um, you know, let me know if you like seeing them or whatever. We'll make the max rank five star you know I don't think that limits the bots you know I've, I've set the rank to like five star before and gotten killed by you know six star weapons um, but I think it just limits like other players joining um, you know if you're playing with friends and you want to limit them it'll you know restrict them but you know I don't know if it works for the bots but anyway grabbing another yawn Time to go get some coffee. Uh, it's taking a while to load in. This is why I usually, I usually cut out the loading screens, just jump straight into the action. But got a little lazy on this video, you know, just trying to catch up on some videos that you know I can still post daily, you know, going forward. But you know, I like to keep my average at daily. You know, basically, I can look back and say, you know, since the day I started, I've posted one video per day. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll definitely be catching up, you know, just, uh, excuse my laziness of not cutting out the loading screen, but we'll just get this out there. Um, there's a good far end kill. Let's get one close range. That guy was reloading. We were able to take him out. You know, it's not a bad weapon. You see, uh, you know, I'm definitely not running all over the place. You know, obviously portability has since been buffed up 20 points. You know, it's not... You can notice it, you know, 10 points, I've said this before, 10 points not noticeable, 20 points, you know, barely noticeable, um, 30 points, sure, you know, 40 points, you can definitely notice it. Um, so, you know, with a 20 point buff, um, you know, it's noticeable, but it's not going to, you know, change your style of play with this weapon, you know, you're still kind of, you know, hugging your corners, you know, camping a bit, um, you know, um, obviously helps you know going after someone who's already injured you know I mean that's the case with any weapon um, that's just you know common sense but yeah, I don't know keep it in mind whatever um, you know you want to be able to to kind of peek and pop with this weapon um, you know always be ready to, to jump behind cover um, you know if you run a you know run out head to head like if, uh, if we were in multiplayer and this guy was running up the stairs going against me here and he had like a you know, a fully automatic SMG, even a fully automatic assault rifle, you know, he's just going to take me out, you know, nine times out of ten. Um, you know, so it's it's always risky being aggressive with this weapon, but I don't know. Maybe this review did something for you. Maybe it didn't. Let me know in the comments below. Um, not a bad weapon. You know, give it a try if you got one. Um, you know, I'd say at least, you know, a six-star far end to be able to compete. You know, pretty much that goes for any edition, but... You know, this is the five star, you know, not too bad. You know, it's cool looking weapon out of the skinned weapons, but that'll do it for this. Thanks for stopping by.